So I've been streaming a little bit under a year and I have a decent setup here. Okay. So try monitors, of course, with the Xbox, the Shure SM7B, my headphones, a mixer, mix amp as well. And then of course my controller. Now, one of the things that I did notice when I switched headphones was that, of course, I didn't have a microphone attached to those headphones. Now, I have a variety of headphones uh, that includes the GSP-300s, the 500s, HyperX Cloud 2s, the Alphas, Astro A40s, you name it. I think I have it. Even some uh, earbuds that I use as well because I just run everything through the mix amp. But without having that microphone, I wanted to have the same mic quality as if I was running this through my Xbox party chat versus using the companion app on the computer. So I'm going to talk about how we do this in this video. All right, so you got your streaming set up. You've been like me, streaming about a year, uh, but you're doing it through the mixer, right? So you have a mixer, you have a mix amp, you have an XLR or USB microphone like the Yeti, the Shure, the Audio Technicals, or any one of those other condenser mics you can buy on maybe Amazon or eBay, and you have that set up, right? So now all of your stream is hearing the quality that comes from that particular microphone. Well, what do you do now? Most people are streaming. What they'll do is they will continue to have some kind of uh, microphone connected to their headset and that's what they'll talk to their teammates through but that audio quality especially if their streaming is not going to sound the same so i kind of was looking for a fix that will give me the exact same thing here now key again i do have a mixer and that's a huge component of what we're going to do today now when you do it when you're streaming you're probably joining your parties through the xbox companion app in that companion app, you're setting up how your teammates are going to hear you. You're also setting up exactly what you're going to use as the input for the microphone. For me, I have the line in. I use Noise Gator for a couple different things to kind of block out some additional noise inside this app. And then I run it on um, if I'm doing something like Skype or Discord or something like that. Now, the quality is going to be really good in there. In the stream, it's going to be really good. But the problem is you don't get the opportunity to mute your mic at the drop of a dime, which to me is crucial because when you're talking to your friends and you want to talk to your stream, you don't want to be the annoying guy in the party who's always talking to the stream. Hey, man, thanks for the follow. Oh, thanks for the bits. Thanks for, I don't know, the donation or, oh, my God, sub hype. It's great to be able to do that, but great to be able to do it. When you're playing a first person shooter and you're not, and I repeat, not disturbing your friends. So I looked at the workaround and let's get to it. One minute and 58 seconds into this part. And here we go. First thing I have here is the adapter. So I have this adapter. I got it from my Gen 1 Turtle Beaches and I just kind of kept it all the way through. You can find one of these, maybe a GameStop or secondary markets for like $25. Second thing you're going to need, you're going to need this adapter. Now I got this adapter with my Sennheisers and what it is, it's four pole and it breaks down the split. One side of it is the microphone, the other side of it itself is the headset. So I have two Elgato chat link cables. You don't necessarily need two. You actually only really need one. I use these because they just tend to work and I know that they work and you can get those on Amazon for about $10. So when you get the split for the headphones, right? Since I am using the Astro Mix app. Now, you have DAC stacks, you have other amps out there, systems, but this is the one that I use. So if you have a new mix amp, I have the Gen 1. I also have a Gen 2, but this one works really well for the things that I need to get done. And why fix something that just ain't broke? Now, one split, fem uh, the female side, I believe. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the male side. Going into the female side of the converter. So I have that split. And one side of it goes from here into my mix amp, into the controller port where you would actually be working. The other side of it, of that split, goes back into my computer so that way it can pick up all of that stuff and relay it to the stream and then I can control the volumes. And then if I'm here on my uh, stream deck, I can just mute it if my chat gets toxic because me and my friends need to make some jokes. If it gets toxic, I can go ahead and mute it and then it'll pull it right out of the stream, but just at the touch of a button and never have to worry about it. So that's really convenient to have, especially when you have uh, one or two friends that you know are a little, uh, they're a little 
forward. And for your chat or for your stream, that just may not be appropriate. So that's good. Now the other side, again, it's a female end on the splitter. You don't need a splitter here. I have a splitter, but you do not need the second Elgato splitter. You can just do this with your regular aux cable, 3.5 to 3.5. This for me is going from here and that goes to my effects send. So if you have, like I have the USB version of this, the 502, but I had this 802 that I used for years, probably eight, nine years now, and it has the effects send. So what the effects send does is it allows anything that's been put in here, you just turn the effects send knob and it sends it out. This is the out. So it sends it out to wherever you want it to go. So I've sent my effects send out right into the microphone jack. So when I start talking in the party, you'll plug this in to here. And then you'll plug that into this. So when I start talking in the party, my party will be able to hear me just fine. But they will be able to hear me through my Shure SM7B. And to me, that quality is better. So if my friends are streaming, I want other people to know, like, hey, that guy has a really good sounding mic. The advantage of having the mixer, of course, is that you have all these different EQ settings that you can do and adjust. And when you adjust those things, it sounds better inside the stream, inside the party chat for everyone else. One of the issues that I used to run into for sure after I had tried to do all this stuff was echoing. So just make sure that you don't have it turned up too loud, one. Make sure your effects and volumes, for sure, are not too loud. And then also when you go inside your settings, what I did was I just plugged the adapter straight into the controller. And then it brought up the Xbox settings on the controller. I just went ahead and I turned all that stuff down. Why? Because I can hear it because my audio comes from the optical. But I only wanted my friends to hear me and only me. And when it goes back into the chat or when it goes back out to the stream, it's not echoed and it's not layered. Listen, I really hope this helped you guys. This was a struggle for me because I kind of beat my brain up trying to figure out how to do this. I've had several different configurations. So I think probably what I'll end up doing is uh, using a headphone amplifier and then I'll redo the video as to how to work with that headphone amplifier. Okay, guys. JT, sign it out.